In tonight's face-off, I'll be debating Channel 6 movie Ghouli Booberella on the subject of our new boss, Dr. Anthony Fauci. My view? He's a great leader and a gallant American. He's got a heart as big as my boobs. I guess we'll have to agree to agree on this one. He's got a heart as big as my boobs. Okay, okay, boomer, boomer, boomer. whatever you say. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. A week chock full of uh, memes and jokes and hilarity, and I hope you're enjoying it. Um, interesting pro-censorship take from a um, surprising source last night. If you're like, I don't know what generation you would have to be to be an Elvira like fan. Somewhere between probably late millennial, I'm guessing. Um, I certainly remember Elvira as a kid, but I'm sure I wasn't her target demographic then. Um, I mean, she's iconic, um, so much so that the Simpsons even memed her as, uh, uh, you know, in one of their Halloween specials. Um, but I guess she suddenly wants to jump on the pro censorship train. This is a, this is a woman whose pinball games, uh, were censored in arcades and whose television show, had to be censored for TV. Um, and now she's on this bizarre Twitter uh, crusade, arguing with her fans, demanding people sign this cringe petition to uh, get Joe Rogan banned. Um, and her feed is full of copium, but there's really no doubt. There's no uh, questioning why um, she's doing it. It's for Twitter followers. Obviously, she cares less about her long term fans who have already bought all of her DVDs and have already bought all of her merch and far more about this new these new um, poke uh, cultists that she can uh, generate on Twitter. Uh, I'll just prove it to you right away. I mean, you could see this is somebody who isn't super relevant nowadays. I mean, twice as relevant as me, I suppose she was on TV and all sorts of things like that. 300,000 followers on Twitter. Um, last night, when she started to go to battle with her Twitter followers, she lost some, 185 big whoop out of 300,000, right? But if we look at, I have a suspicion, I have a suspicion what we're going to see today. Let's just go to the live count, okay? Um, well, work. Okay, 310.021. Whoops! 311.13. She's gained over a thousand today. I wonder why. Now, again, this is her fan. Here's her customer review that, that bought her DVDs. A virus back, but the movies are censored. The movies on this DVD are not uncut and are edited for TV. Prior Elvira, Elvira DVDs had uncut versions of these movies. I was so disappointed by the versions of the film. I mean, El Elvira is funny. Okay, and a great character, but let's not um, let's not mistake like what was her shtick, right? Her shtick was uh, being very spicy, very good-looking woman. Years later, she was she she came out and said that she doesn't care for men, doesn't make her any less attractive. And then she puts out this tweet. And by the way, this is, I've never seen copium like this. Why is it that when you quote spark a debate, she didn't spark a debate. She made a declaration of censorship and then demanded anyone who disagree with her unfollow her and shut up. Who don't agree. You immediately respond to attack your looks, your age, or your career, particularly the men. You mean the men that made your entire career? Totally off the prompt. It says everything I need to know about them. It's all they've got. Here's Pimp Master Broda. I wouldn't attack your looks or career by jump, but jumping into, uh, into the Neil Young with this history of your recent coming out is hilarious. Neil Young has had some very spicy rants using the bundle of sticks word. And if you look at her Twitter feed, it's like pure copium, but she's doing it just for Twitter followers. You can see... 
I stand. This is, you know, yesterday, long after this was all said and done, right? I stand with the musicians and artists, not with the quacks and hacks. This cause is close to my heart. Please sign this copium petition. By the way, you lost. How many losers signed to this? Uh, 91,000. Regarding, quote, fans, ha ha, who are leaving me because they prefer disinformation over the truth, all I can say is it's time to clean house and separate the class from the trash. Buh bye That doesn't sound like you started a debate, does it? It sounds like you made a declaration and that anybody who disagrees with you, you call trash. For the people who call, she's getting ratioed pretty strongly in a lot of these tweets, by the way. I mean, it's still positive, but even this tweet, 3.6 thousand likes to a thousand comments. For the people who call this censorship, would it be okay if I had a podcast inviting experts to enc encourage people to drink and drive? That's a classic false equivalency, not that she cares. This answers any doubt, but I assume you're too busy to listen. You see a lot of people in the comments saying like, I'm trying to figure out what your analogy was and who said on the podcast that it was equivalent, equivalent to encouraging people to drink and drive. It's censorship, the exact definition of it. Please listen to the entire podcast episode in question and then listen to some others with opposing views. Rogan isn't doing anything wrong here. He's just chatting with people. I mean, these people don't want a conversation. They want you to immediately fall in line and listen to them. And like, I get why Elvira is doing it at age 90 or whatever she is now, 70. Looks great for 70, by the way. That isn't a dig on her looks. She's doing this for internet clout. That's all this is. Bye bye. Don't let the door hit you on the on the rear on the way out. Why? Because they said huge fan have always been since the macabre days. But I can't follow this call for censorship. Joe Rogan has openly invited experts to discuss the coof on both sides. Five hundred likes. She didn't like that that comment got too many likes, so she said, "Get out of here." Suppression of freeze coming in with neurotics. Suspension, a uh, suspension. Why can't I talk? Suppression of free speech and expression is a cause that's close to your heart. Just another tool of the system. Apparently, based on many reports, when the Elvira show was filmed, CBS went crazy over the immense usage of the chest and spicy jokes that it canceled the series before it ever premiered. Pro it's weird that this happened. And then she says, I'm curious, did your pilot air? Cringe. That's like saying, that's like doing the I have more followers than you response. Been a fan of you for decades, think you need to stay in your lane. Eh. So no more. Way to alienate and promote cancel culture. This is just a, a exchange, right? Yeah, Neil Young blamed uh, the LGBTQ community for AIDS. And not an uncommon opinion, by the way, at that time. Well, this is disappointing. Longtime fan, but I can in good conscience support someone who's pro-censorship. I met you at a Comic-Con a few years ago, and you seem like a nice person. It's just sad politics before the fans. Have you ever even listened to Rogan? It would appear that she has never listened to Rogan. How many episodes of Joe Rogan have you actually watched? Or are you just making your judgment based on third-hand media slander? This won't age well. Hey, look, celebrity opinions. I mean... It's weird how all these people who pushed the envelope back in the day are so quick to pull up the ladder behind him, isn't it? It's almost like somebody's telling him to do this stuff. Why would you actively go to war with your followers? So she's going to get a bunch of these woke idiots um, to follow her now who don't know her, who don't buy her goods, who don't value her, her brand or product. Just her opinion on the poke. She wasn't interested in any kind of debate. She's openly sharing and calling for remove the Joe Rogan podcast. It wasn't um, provide disclaimers, provide counter experts. She was calling for the outright removal of it. That's the issue that was close to her heart. I'm sure a lot of kids enjoyed uh, 
your image back in the day, but what's between your ears is more important to me, and it's pretty pathetic. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.